All right. Good morning, everyone. Well, I normally don't do unboxings, but I figured this one was pretty much worth it. I needed a second mic. I already opened the box, but I haven't really done anything else. Just came in. I did some reading online, and I found a mic for $60, half the price of the Blue Yeti, and they say it's just as good as if not just as good or better. Did I just say that twice? I did, didn't I? Okay. Um, so in the box, it comes with a little piece of paper, and it looks like a very detailed, very detailed um, manual, wow. This is more than I expected, okay. And here, here we go. Well, nice foam. I guess this is gonna go in that. Um, comes together. Let's put the box, while wow, the box is really heavy duty. Okay. Wow, this stuff doesn't come out easy, folks. Okay, and it comes with, let's check this out. I'm gonna just rip it open here. It comes with a nice cable. All right, we'll get to that in a minute. So, it kind of looks like a mini Blue Yeti. On the front, it has a mute button. One thing I did make sure I, I was looking at when I, um, before I got it is the mic. This is a cardioid patent. It's only, it, it only gives you front voice and that's basically what I wanted. I didn't want to omnidirectional or anything like that this isn't going to be a mic I've got another one that does all that stuff so where the mute button is I guess it's either green or red um, when it's on is the side that the mic is facing that's the side you want to talk to on the back it has let's see if these things go no they Go where they're supposed to you know sometimes you get cheaper stuff and the buttons just spin around in circles um this is the just the volume on a headset that you're going to plug into it we'll get to that in a second this is your gain so if you're really close to it you want to turn your gain down of course if you're a foot or two away you probably well, i haven't tested it yet but we will do that so i don't want to get too far into that okay on the bottom, it has a USB mini. I can tell by the shape already. And a USB A. You have a 3.5 jack for your headset. Wow, all metal. I mean, it's, it's, it's just like, honey, I shrunk the kids movie, you know, but they shrunk the Blue Yeti. All right, it's almost like the same color. It's probably off a little bit because they get sued for patent infringements. So I guess, yeah, okay. This goes on if you want to put it on a boom arm, which it is going to go on a boom arm. The I can't get over the quality of this. This is incredible. Wow. The, it, it comes with a little, um, I guess this, I don't know exactly. I, I call it fine, fee, fee fine. I find K678. Wow. Nice quality. Beautiful quality. Heavy duty. I think it's better than the one that came with the Yeti. I ain't trying to get Yeti mad, but um, comes with a nice sturdy stand. I don't know if you can get this a more expensive version of this that comes with a um, that comes with a whole kit like a boom arm and stuff I'd have to look but I, I didn't need it I've had I, I've got 
couple extra boom arms. As far as specs go, the specs on this, it's five volt. Um, operating current is eight MA. Now I'm just running these numbers by you. I don't really know what they all mean. The polar pattern, obviously it's cardioid. Frequency response is 40 Hertz by 2KHS uh, kilohertz, I imagine. And sensitivity level 45 plus to 3 dB at 1 kilohertz. Noise level six something i don't know it's it's probably up there whatever i probably i don't know if that means the noise coming around it but when we do a little review on this versus the yeti we'll see how it sounds and the dynamic range on it is like i think it says 88 decibels so whatever that's supposed to mean but anyways we'll be back when i get to do the uh we're gonna do some sound test on it. It's not gonna be, a, I'm, I'm not a studio professional. I don't know how to pick out sounds like um, the guy on on uh, Alpha Gaming. He, he's, he's awesome, I'll tell you what, you wanna learn some stuff, that's a good site to go to. Um, yeah, Alpha, Alpha Gaming on YouTube. This guy has pretty much every kind of information you could ever want on anything to do with mics, monitors, I'd say mostly all mics and cameras, that's what he really specializes in, but it's great. Um, all right, so got this done. I'm gonna do a review on, I'm sure you see some of this. You wouldn't believe it, I spent five hours of filming yesterday and I filmed the complete build out of the box. I did everything on this and the battery on my camera went dead. I restarted it, charged it, and it went to, when it asked me to go to management, I did and it hit, I was supposed to hit the reset button and I hit the delete button and I deleted five hours of video that I was gonna edit out down to about 35 minutes on this build because of course you gotta chop stuff out fast forward jump through because it's too long to watch a whole build and yeah I'm still horrified that I even did that but I guess we all make mistakes so we'll be back to do a test on this little little bad boy okay don't forget to give me a thumbs up folks you know I love y'all okay I'm back now. Now I am speaking on the Blue Yeti. I'm about 12 inches away with the gain set at 50%. Just to get something here on the mic, I am going to speak a little bit about a fan. This fan is made by ID Cooling Company. It's a two-in-one fan, two 120 millimeter blades ARGB. It's high static pressure. It's specifically made to go on to a 240 millimeter radiator. I use these fans a lot, basically because it really does save a lot on the wiring. And if you've seen my last video, you've seen a nightmare of the, like 30 feet of wiring that I had on the thermal take thing. That was, that was insane. This fan works with ARGB sync. It works with Aura, which is I'm sh thinking ASUS. I can Gigabyte, MSI Mystic, and ASRock Polychrome Sync. So it pretty much works with everything. Now what I'm going to do is. I, I, I am in cardioid. I'm not going to go omnidirectional or any of other direction because the fine, fine, fee fine only does that. So I'm at 50% gain. I'm the same distance away 
at 75% gain. I'm 12 inches away, same distance, at 100% gain. If I was going to put it on 25% gain or lower, I would be speaking probably within a few inches, which I never do, so I'm not going to test it that way. So that completes the test on the Blue Yeti mic. And I would really appreciate if I could get a little bit of feedback from people on how they think the sound is and the sound quality just for like i said this is just kind of like starter type stuff it's not professional studio equipment okay obviously i'm starting this one out just a little bit differently as you can see it's kind of like i said a shrunk down version They're pretty much almost identical, um, other than the Blue Yeti has a switch on the back to be able to do front and back, omnidirectional, and so on. Very similar. Both made of metal, both come with heavy duty stands. Now I'm going to do a test on it. Again, I'd appreciate feedback on what you think about this. My gain is set at, my gain is set at 50% right now. I'm 12 inches away. My gain is set at 75% at 12 inches away. My gain is set at 100% about 12 inches away. Pretty much the gain is made to allow you to choose what difference. The higher the gain, the louder the more input, the louder the input is. If you're gonna be 12 inches away from me, I found on my Blue Yeti about 50% a tad over. So this is about where I'd have it set with the Blue Yeti. Now, A little bit of, a little bit of something about what I did in the last video I'm going to talk about a 240 mil, a two, 240 millimeter all-in-one fan it's made by ID cooling it's a high static pressure fan ARGB controlled it works with ARGB sync it works with aura sync it works with the gigabyte fusion it works with, I don't know, that one just says RGB. It works with MSI Mystic and it works with ASRock Polychrome. It has two 120 millimeter ARGB fans. They're both fans, obviously, are the same. High static pressure fans. This is, they're made specifically to go on radiators. They will work on cases otherwise. But technically high static pressure fans are made to work with radiators, water cooled systems in other words. Okay, so again, I'm going to get this together and get it uploaded. I'd really appreciate some feedback. Oh, by the way, I didn't do it on the other one, but you can see what I mean by an omnidirectional a bi-directional mic versus a strictly cardioid which is one of the reasons I bought this I didn't want one I have one if I needed people all around for sound someone in back for interview 
whatnot. But this is what happens when you turn it around. Hi, I'm John. I'm doing a test on microphones. I'm 12 inches away. The gain set at 50%. This is the Fine Fine K678 microphone. Don't mind the clunking. Okay, once again, hi, my name's John, JP's Tech Reviews. I'm doing a review on the Fi Fine or Fi Fine. I wish somebody could maybe tell me what what it means. I, um, I mean, how to pronounce it. Maybe they don't even know. But I'm 12 inches away, and I'm doing a review on this. And now I'm speaking directly into it. This is a cardioid microphone. It doesn't have omnidirectional, and it doesn't have bidirectional. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, please give me a thumbs up. Everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day.